Alright. Science Prison 42. Uh, let's get started. I... Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. I don't know what I set my preferences to. Um, might get another janitor round. Who knows? arguing about music file formats. That's... yeah. I think, in general, that's what people do if they don't know which formats to use when. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are, the janitor gun. Medbay and the brig. Those are our two objectives. Got an, you, know, you know the drill at this point. Grab our bucket. Fill it up with water. Fill up the spray bottle. Hitting the bucket with... Wait, no. Hitting the spray bottle with the bucket as we do it. Apparently. Because that's how you do it as a janitor. That's how you get this stuff done. Okay, that's enough. And we're actually going to use the mob this time. Because I'm... I don't know. <laughs> but I think it'll be handy to keep the bucket with us. Oh wow, okay, everything's full. Um, take these lights off, just to get it in the way. Cleaner grenades. We're gonna try not to rely on them too much. Put them both in that box. Get a box of replacement lights, do that. Get one cleaner bottle. One mouse trap. And, of course, a mop. We need at least one. And our self-defense spray bottle. Now we're ready to take on the world. Oh. Almost forgot. Most important thing you could use. Well, galoshes are important. But the very most important thing is the wet floor sign. Because that way... You can make the floors as wet as you want, as long as you put a wet floor sign. Then if somebody slips and then starts yelling at you, you can just give them a smug smile and point at the sign. The barman is getting murdered. Well... That seems like... Oh. Shit. Okay. Too late. Um, it kind of looks like he just killed himself. The Russian revolver. Yeah, I think he's dead. Off to genetics. We'll come back to mop that up in just a moment. Do we have enough room in our backpack for the mop? No, I don't think we do. There. We'll keep a wet floor sign in our hand, because I'd rather accidentally lose that than accidentally lose the mop. Probably is someone that killed themselves, so genetics won't be able to help them, but 
the AI did say that it, the barkeep was being murdered, so... Where's that, the barkeep? I don't know. Well... <laughs> I don't know. Dead body in front of medbay. I've done my job. That's as far as my access will allow me, so... Good enough for me. Oh, man. Doug Beach is banned from the bar. Well, now to do our job. Uh, first, first thing when you're doing the mopping, it's good to put your bucket somewhere where it won't be easily knocked out of the way. Then you just click on the floor. And you can actually clean multiple floor tiles at the same time. Which is good to know. Kind of cuts down on time wasted. Although, you can't waste time as a janitor. It's, it's impossible to waste time. Everything you do is absolutely valuable. As a service to the station. Even if you happen to slip up a couple of security officers along the way. As long as it's clean, that's what's important. <laughs> that's right, buddy. Then we point. <laughs> so what's going on with these guys? AI has really got an attitude problem or something. And mopping, mopping does take a little while sometimes, so... Oh, what? Okay, so fire locks are down here so, for some reason. Let's see... Okay, that's what I thought. Honey production kit. This is kind of important, so I'll make sure Hydroponics gets this, gets this right away. Yeah, that owl. Space owl. I don't know what that space owl is doing there, so... Chances are, what happened was somebody killed the barman. Who... somebody who wasn't a traitor. And the admins decided to... take matters into their own hands. I mean, that kind of sounds kind of silly. When they say it that way. All right, now we now we're off looking for more messes. Bar looks relatively clean. I think I saw some Swedish meatballs there. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, wow. I didn't realize you could do that. Huh. Weird. I wonder what else you can do with that. Do that with, I mean. Well, I'll find out later. Hmm. I still haven't successfully antagonized the security, the security team, trying to get the rig cleaned up. I might do that this round. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Is the head of personnel still there? Nope. It's not very often that the head of personnel stays there longer than ten minutes. Which is kind of sad. It's unfortunate. The head of personnel is a valuable resource. Not not very many people take that job seriously. I mean, obviously you don't want to stay there the whole round, but... Come on, ten minutes. It's a good kind of job to 
just kind of sit back and relax and it's a good lean back job and just watch the radio and see what's going on yell at security once in a while while doing nothing yourself which is almost better in my opinion there's this super protector friend Oh wow okay so there's no mess here at all really Hmm. Just dancing with my wa my mop bucket. Hmm. <laughs> Janitor is doing his job. That's right. <laughs> it's not very often you get complimented for your work as a janitor. Usually, the best you can hope for is people complaining that the floors are all wet. Uh, so, this light is broken, but we have lights. I think we have light tubes. Oh no, they're, they're bulbs, of course. <laughs> well, let's put that back. Let's go get the tubes. Light tubes. A shifty looking motherfucker with warped sense of justice. Oh, I see. What you can do as a janitor sometimes is find random shit lying around, bring the trash cart to pull it, to pick it up and, you know, get it out of the way, but... If that's not available, I, what I usually do is I just pick it up with my hand and put it in the nearest disposal chute. Works just as well. There we go. I'm sure there's a reason that panel is always removed. It just has kind of a hint that you can do something with that cable. But I don't know what the cable is for, so... So let's see. These tubes? Yes, they are. Chances are I'll need more tubes than I will bulbs, so I'll just leave the bulbs here. And you know what? Let's give the mop one last dunk. Leave the bucket here for now. Now, if you're the chef, sometimes it's handy just to keep a mop handy. And you don't even need the mop bucket. You just you just rinse your mop in the sink, and then it's wet, and you can wipe stuff up with it. No offense, bro, you don't have access in there. Oh. AI's doing his job. I don't like his methods, but at least he gets results. Okay, what else was I about to do? A barber's uniform? Goes in the trash. When I'm a janitor, I'm a little overzealous about what goes in the trash. Pretty much everything. Unless I have an immediate use for it. Breath mask in a box? No. Yeah, it goes in the trash. Okay, yeah. For a moment, I forgot what I was coming down here for. There we go. Nice. Some people do just smash out the light tubes for no reason. But sometimes people just do it by accident. Like if they've got the K-Cat lit, then just running around, they might put out some lights or set off some fire alarms without really meaning to. Lord knows I have. Hmm. Doesn't look like much has been going on in security. 
if I see some clothes or gear or something in the on the floor in security, I might try to barge in there and see if the brig needs cleaning up. Because if there's any signs of activity in security itself, the main security room that is, then chances are something something went down in the brig as well. <laughs> Goddamn botanist. How do you do it? We've been here not 15 minutes and you already cured cancer. Oh, speaking of cancer, what is this? You can get a similar green glow if you spray radium or something somewhere. So I wonder if that's what that is. Well, clutter here. Let's see if we can clean that up. We can't pick it up. Can we mop it up? I don't even know, really. Okay, we can mop it up. Nice. Uh, wait. Just leave a mop wet wet floor sign there. Just in case. Of course, nobody will see it coming from the other side of the airlock, but hey, at least it's still there. Huh, I just realized there's no disposal chute in the bar. Unless I'm just being blind and I can't see it for some reason. Another bee crate. Okay, well, I'll have to take care of that in a moment. After I... Oh, there's a disposal chute. I don't want to hang on to this eggnog forever. This is probably really incredibly boring, but I'm enjoying it. It's kind of, it's monotonous work, but, you know, it gives you, it's something to do. It's fun on a certain level. Hmm. That wasn't a high, that wasn't a botanist. That was a it looked like it could have been a roboticist. Usually if you see someone in lab coat and black pants, it's it's a roboticist. Or it's an assistant in a black jumpsuit where that just happened to have a lab coat. I just realized I didn't grab my bio suit. Oh well, whatever. It's not like you actually need it. I'm not even sure if the bio suit actually helps. It might help. Just against diseases and stuff, and... Diseases and certain other things that are actually kind of rare these days. <laughs> diseases. It used to be, you couldn't go around without having a disease. But pathology's been removed. Usually when you get a disease, it's uh, just basically a random chance. I think there are some things that actually, you know, that will cause diseases, but just like things that are made in the kitchen that are have a rare chance to cause, like, I don't know, just diarrhea or something. Nothing too serious. I don't know if this lab coat really works. Time to throw it out. <laughs> As per my policy of throwing out anything that doesn't seem useful. What is this? Whoa, serious leg here.
Hmm. The floors don't seem that dirty, so I'm kind of wondering maybe, maybe I can help quartermasters get some stuff that they could sell. Medicinal herbs, damn, that's it. Take to kind of a more of a social role. I'm not going to be growing medicinal herbs myself, but if I can talk some botanist into sending some over to quartermasters, that'd be cool. Just to some, just for something to do. I'm not doing it, you know, be to be a good guy. It's just kind of interesting if I'm able to kind of help out the budget. Oh, 30 seconds. Oh, okay. I'd lean on the counter, just kind of lounging around, kind of relaxed. There's not a whole lot going on. Not a whole lot of floors that need cleaning. Some dude is chasing another through the bar with a green... Security might want to do something about that. Huh. Well, that might be a mess I need to clean up. Not sure if me telling them that will actually get them to send produce to the quartermasters, but it's worth it's worth checking. I mean, he's already sent them at least two bee crates. I'm sure hydroponics will be willing to make some produce for him. Oh man, stuff is going on in the bar. There's an e-sword, and a gun, and a knife. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Shit got real fast in the bar. Hmm, who's that? I think the green PDA tends to be... Tends to be, like, a head of personnel, or... Maybe the chief engineer. Maybe. I don't know. Could be the research directors as well. And this door is locked, so... we have to find another way through. Mm, this way. Damn. Wow. Okay. Well. It sounds like the perpetrators already ran off. Grant Green has been implanted by Lane Stewart? What does that mean? Is... What happened to the captain?
You start bleeding profusely. Oh shit! What? Oh man! <laughs> what? Butcher's knife? Well, shit. I got, yeah, I got, I got the bleeding profusely message before I got anything else. What? Did they, like, do a stealth stab or something like that? Lane, Lane stabbed me and made me help him. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, wait, we weren't able to see Lane, were we? Oh, no, there's... No, that's not Lane. No, that is Lane. What? Why would a quartermaster's have a butcher's knife? Oh, wow. Well, butcher's knife and a cloaker. I think that's a total of more than 10 telecrystals, so... Either he took the butcher's knife from a trader chef, or he got lucky with the trader crate. <laughs> well, butcher's knife isn't really any worse than an e-sword or something like that. It just happens to also have the added benefit of chopping your opponents into meat. It's something I wanted to do for a while is, you know, as a chef, keep a produce, or, yeah, keep a produce satchel in your pocket. Kill somebody, chop them into meat, and just put the meat into your produce satchel. Just collect all of the meat of your victims as you go along. It'd be pretty amazing. Well, Lane's breaking out. Lane's not sticking around for too long. Oh, wait, what? Or... Let's see. Yeah, Lane's breaking out. He's not, he's not going to take it anymore. The shuttle is already on its way. I didn't even notice. I haven't actually seen anyone throw the butcher's knife in a while. Which used to be one of its major features. Yeah, as Irina's saying, you can stun by throwing it. But you have to make sure you hit. Which is not something, not something I would do. I get too much leg for that. I would never hit, or I'd have to be lucky. It always hits? What? Huh. Well. If you're not aiming at someone, where someone is, you can hardly hit them. Hmm. Oh, unless they just mean if you, because when I when I'm thinking, if you if you miss them because they're moving too fast for you to click, then that's a miss. <laughs> there was the chef. Or a chef. I don't know where Lane is. Let's see. Let's go fuck Lane up. Okay, everyone knows something is going on with Lane. Lane is causing some sort of trouble. Chopping people up. Hmm. Everyone's talking about midis, but... I don't think I'm getting them. I must have that option turned off. Let's see. Well, yeah, must be on. It, it's something I'd have to restart the client for, I think, maybe. Give him the usual AI. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll slit my throat if you don't open the fire doors. <laughs> well, jeepers, Lane. What are you doing? You're a quartermaster with no crowbar. 
I'm not supposed to give in to their demands either. I mean, it's it's not a huge problem if an AI does logistically. But whenever I'm AI, I I can usually safely bet that they're just they're not serious about killing themselves. If they seem to have an objective, they're not just going to kill themselves just because there's a minor obstacle in front of them. Best captain works worst security. <laughs> Hmm, that's an interesting combination. I'd like to say that's the opposite of what usually happens, but usually it's bad captain, bad security. <laughs> or sometimes bad security, even worse captain. But... I think in general, security is not as bad as people say it is. In general, it can be bad though. What? What? Some? Did something hit Lane? <laughs> Someone just dragged away Lane's butcher knife. What exactly happened? Oh, Lane is dying. I'm just there in time to observe. Oh, you knifed yourself. Okay. Here, I was, I was starting to think that maybe the AI electrified the airlock. Which wouldn't be cool if the AI was on the default laws, but but no. No, Lane just misclicked. <laughs> Lane knifed himself because he meant to click on the door, but the door closed. <laughs> well, maybe what I said before wasn't totally right. <laughs> they will commit suicide. <laughs> Just in the stupidest way possible. I guess it wasn't it wasn't quite suicide either. Just enough to knock himself out. Good tea. Well, I'm dead. And the quartermaster's important message died with me, but the shuttle had already been called, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Huh. Just hiding Lane's body. Um. What are you up to, buddy? What are you doing, Drew? Drew Stahl? I'm kind of wondering if Drew is another traitor. Whoa. Okay, that must be... Oh, that's that's Drew. Drew has a light. The emergency light. Okay. I'm not sure what Kate is talking about, but it sounds like something he should take to the ban appeal forums instead instead of complaining about it in dead chat. It said not to bother. Huh. Alright. Mm. Joke. Okay. okay. Well, I'm not going to get involved. I don't know what that's about. 
sometimes the admins will hand out, you know, joke bans for 10 minutes or something like that. It doesn't happen very often. Usually because there's not very many situations where it's actually funny, but... They don't usually do it unless, you know, somebody can take a joke. Well, Jew's heading off. Away from escape. Oh, taking, taking Lane's body with him. <laughs> Not sure why, but okay. Skip shuttle's not looking very full. It's only a few people. Hmm. I arrived after. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. They're kind of discussing different traders' motives. But I don't know. We're gonna find out in a couple minutes anyway. So. <laughs> Lane Stewart's lifeless corpse, handcuffed in the locker. Actually, yeah. Why? Why is Lane handcuffed? I must be miss. Unless Drew put the handcuffs on him. I may have missed that part. Because I think, yeah. Lane must have had... Yeah, Lane must have had the handcuffs put on him when he accidentally knifed himself and then Drew came along. Excuse me. Work to set McFall. Oh wow. Oh, papers are on fire. <laughs> The smoke and stuff. It, is, it isn't actually harmful, but it will obscure your vision. I'm a ghost, so it doesn't obscure my vision. But if you're, it'll it'll block your line of sight. What? You have been banned by Thug Beef. Reason? Shame on you. This is a permanent ban. Pretty sure that's not for me. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was. Was I actually in projector? Oh man, what's going on? Oh. Oh wow. Somebody's not happy about the OLC. You wanna put a banging donk on it? <laughs> Thug Beef has banned us all. <laughs> Why was I banned? Please explain. Doug Beach is killed. Oh, Jean Valjean is known as the Monsieur Madeleine. Okay. Okay, per Percocet was not killed. Cyborg knew. Whoever played that was cyborg, I guess. Doug Beach. Wait. Okay, there's Lane Stewart there. Barman, engineer, staff assistant. Who was supposed to kill me? Oh, Doug Beach was, but it was Lane that ultimately killed me. Oh well. Anyway, good round.